Hello and welcome to Pantheon of the Geeks. You join us for uh, an unboxing for the Primaris Captain and Primaris Librarian, which are my models. Yes. Mine. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've been painting the Primaris Marines from the uh, Dark, box, Imperium, Dark set. Imperium set. You nearly uh, done, aren't you? I'm nearly done, yeah. Um, doing them as Crimson Fists. Yep. Um, I've just got the um, Ancient to do and the Captain. Yep, and the Death Guard are done. So as soon as Claire's finished, we'll be doing a rematch. Mm -hmm. For today, we have the Primaris Librarian and the Primaris Captain to unbox. Yeah. Which do you want to do first? We shall do the Librarian first, I think. Okay. So they come in nice little boxes. The okay. box. Black background. And there is the model on the back with a few little paints on what to use. Mm -hmm. Obviously we've got a variant head in there. Oh, right. Claire's going to have to say which head she wants. But... I'll let her open that since it's hurt. Okay. Cool. So you've enjoyed painting the Primaris, haven't you? I have actually, yeah. I've yeah. found them quite... Um... They do look good. I'm not, I'm not going to yeah. lie. They do look good. But they are nice models to paint and I think with them being bigger, yeah. uh, you see a lot more of the detail. You, you, you're able to get into the more, you know, more of the um, armour in that lot. Yeah. So... Right, okay. So you've got your uh, plastic holders. And that's it. <laughs> yep. yep. And we've got the instructions in here as well. We've got two sprues. One and two. We have the base. And we have, if you want ultramarines, some ultramarines transfers. No. Uh, oh, that's the instructions there. There's a couple of skulls with halos over and there's a couple of other no, things. No, I might use some of that. You could use, but mainly I'll try use that. So there is sprue number one with the main bits of the robes and the legs on. Mm -hmm. Sprue number two, we've got the heads. We have the sword there. Those are the two different heads at the top. Masked and unmasked. Oh, cool. So... Let's have a look at the instructions. So we need parts 4, 3 and 2 and 5 and 6. Right. Which probably all the parts on that one sprue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll like yeah. yeah. So that first sprue I showed you, that's all the parts. So let's clip all those off and we'll look at it. Okay, so... Here we have part three, which is that bit there. We have both legs, two and four. Then we have the back line with this, uh, which is six. We have this bit here, which is um, part five, which goes in there, a bit randomly. Fits in there. And then part one goes on to part, this part. Which we'll have made, and that goes on the back, making the main part of the body. Mm. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick that together. Um, I don't see any issues. And back when it's done. Okay, so here's the model so far. It's a little bit awkward how this goes together. You've literally got to stick these parts together, <clears throat> and then there's a little um, bit on the front of the leg, which part one attaches to. And then you stick the back on before it all falls to bits. Oh. <laughs> okay. But there we go. It's together. I just need a bit of cleaning up going on on the cult itself. So I'll do that. In the meantime, we need parts 8 and 10 to go on there. 9 and 7 for the other side. And we need parts 18 and then a choice of heads. I'll well, get them off while I finish this off. Okay, so we have these purity seals here, which is part 10. A little triangular hole there. That just fits in to that triangular hole. Then we have this piping, which goes around. Get it right. Which goes around here. And you can, whoop, drop to them. But there's a bit here just at the top of the cloak. And this bit of the this flatter part just connects to that. Um, opposite way around on 9 and 7. Again, there's a little diamond shape there. 
and then that curls around. Then we have part 18, which is like a little eagle thing, which goes into the slot there on top of the psychic hood. And Claire's chosen the unhelmeted head, mm -hmm. which is there, to go on. So I'm going to stick those parts together. Claire's also got the helmeted yeah. head in her hand. Yeah. Right into the shadow. And out of focus. Oh, I can't get it right, you know me. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it doesn't really look right to me. It does look a bit different, doesn't it? Yeah, I suppose that's what it is. It just looks different. It's supposed it? to make your library look a bit different. Yeah. It kind of looks like, I don't know, Cyberman. <laughs> don't like it then. Right. Uh, 14 is next, mm -hmm. after we've got this together, which is a sword arm. Now, 11 and 12, which make up the other arm and hand. Yep. Then we have 19 and 20 for the backpack. And we have the shoulder pads 15 and 13. Mm -hmm. Should make the model. So, because I'm going to get those bits off, I'm going to stick this bit together. We're we'll back on stage four. Okay, so there we go. Looking pretty good so far. Mm -hmm. Another cabling. And then we have the thing on the top of the head. I feel like a hood ornament, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Hood ornament. Well, it's a hood. It's, it's a hood ornament, technically it is, I'm right. So, 14 is the arm that goes into that slot there. Then the other arm goes together with those two parts. That's going to go into the opposite slot. We have a little tab there for the backpack to go on. Some purity seals onto the backpack. Um, which is pretty optional, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and then the two shoulder pads will go on top of the arms. Pretty standard stuff. Put them together, we'll be back when he's done. There is the finished librarian. Cool. I need to stick him onto a scenic base. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm not stuck him onto the official one. Yeah. There he is. Funky. He does look awesome. Sword that looks cloak. awesome. Cloak looks awesome. Mm. He's more cloak than marine. <laughs> to play a layers in there as well, it does look pretty good. Boards will if they ever redo the Dark Angels. Mm. Right. So, his rules are in here. So, um, it's the easiest way to see this. If you did all cards like this, it'd be quite good. Yeah. So, movement 6, weapon master skill 3+, plus, strength toughness 4+, plus, oh, sorry, 4, uh, wounds 5, attacks 4, leadership 9, save 3+. plus. Armed um, with a force sword and a bolt pistol and fragment crag grenades. As you can see there, those are the stats. They should on fear. He has a psychic hood which can add one to the deny the witch rolls for psychics in 12 inches. He can use smite and two powers in the same phase. There you go. Pretty straightforward. Seven power at the top. Great. Cool. And that is the Primaris Librarian. There he is. Stand up without a base as well. <laughs> so, shall we move on to the captain? We shall. Yep. So, I grabbed that even before I pressed the button. <laughs> I'm not excited so and getting excited. in. Yeah. I want to see how cool this one looks. See, that one looks cool. Librarian is awesome. Yeah. Just in case you didn't know. Yeah. Again, we have the same thing though. We have booklet, we have the same transfers, we got the same. Another terminator size base, as I always call them. We have that sprue there. Put it with the backpack and the gun sword. And we have this screw here. Just got the cloak on the body. Not the other parts. Cool. Sweet. Let's have a look at the instructions. One page worth. Or two, technically. Uh, there we go. So, part one, two, 
three and four is the leg there, five and six is the other leg, so the shins are separate. So those two parts go to there, those two parts go together, those two parts go together, the cloak goes on. And we'll get those bits off then because that's the main part of the body then. Okay, so pretty much as it looked in the pictures, we have the back part of the body which is one, two fits over the front, standard connection there. We have both legs again, exactly the same thing, one fits over the front, same there, that fits over the front of that, and then the cloak will go on the back. There, fits on just around where the backpack's going to go on. So I'm going to go ahead and stick those parts together. In the meantime, we have 9 and 10 for the shoulder pads, 7 for the front tabard, we have 20 for the backpack, 11 for the holster on each side, uh, 21, which is like a little laurel type, mm -hmm. I don't know, award. To like cord, cord probably, yeah. And then we have the choice of barrel, uh, it's not barrel, but whether you want scope on to make it a stalker, mm -hmm. ball gun, which is a standard ball gun with the uh, barrel thing. Mm. So I'm going to have to choose that first. So we'll get all these parts off. I'll stick the rest of this together. Come back to a look at these. Okay, so there is the body. Quite dynamic actually. Cool. Cloak's very nice. Mm. Well, there we go. So far. Next up, as I said, we have the two shoulder pads. We have the front part there. That's just got a standard little adapter there, which goes on into that hole. And then we have the... Uh, bolt rifle with the, the sight scope adaption there. I did cut off the other bit as well just so you can so see. The other bit is literally just a uh, ammo pack on the ammo pack. It. Like this cool bit there. So there we go. Those are the choices. Close chosen the scope mm -hmm. and why not. Um, that little bit there just goes into that little sort of crevice hole there. There's a little um, nodule which will go on there. And then we have the gun which simply sits onto the hip, like most of the guns do. So I'm going to stick all that together. In the meantime, I feel like I'm choosing whether she's going to have head 17 uh, or head 18 there at the top. Head 18 has a little uh, brush attachment, which is 19. <laughs> Plume. Plume. <laughs> and then we have the sword for 12, power sword, or just a pointy finger for 13. So Claire's going to choose which option she wants, mm -hmm. and then we should be back to finish off the model. Okay, so there is the model so far. Looking awesome. I have drilled the end of the bolt when it needs drilling, just so you know. Everything else fits together very easily. Claire has chosen head with brush attachment. Yes. There is a little slit in the top of the head, you can see there. So if you didn't want the brush, you could fill that in with green stuff. And then the sword will just attach onto the arm. Mm -hmm. So we'll finish that off and back in a second. There he is. Finished. I like. Looks pretty cool actually. He does. Yeah. Yeah, it looks awesome. It does look pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Right. And then he'll stand up without a base on. Mm -hmm. Just about. Let's so have a look at his rules. Primaris Captain. So he's moving 6, weapon with a skill of 2 plus, and toughness of 4, wound 6, attacks 5, leadership 9, 3 plus to save, the model is armed with a master crafted auto bolt rifle, there we go, bolt pistol, frag grenades and crack grenades, the bolt pistol, master crafted auto bolt rifle, a master crafted stalker bolt rifle, mm -hmm. that's what we've given him, that's the mm -hmm. difference, uh, it goes from assault 2 to heavy 1, from 24 to 36. It goes strength 4 either way, but the Stalker also is minus 2 to AP and 2 damage. Oh, so I picked the right one there then, haven't I? Well, for the uh, Assault <laughs> one's 2 damage as well. So if you want to move him forward in an Assault, the other one's better. If you mm. want to take off some long range sniping. Because you've got, you've got the um, the Gravis Captain, haven't you, from, have. for the close up and nastiness. Yeah. So you've got this guy to stand back and do some sniping with the heavier weapons. Yes. What are your options? Model, we take a master crafted auto bolt rifle with a master crafted stalker bolt rifle. Mirror play, sorry. I think it's five points. Have a look on the website. It's on the right, website, okay. the points cost for now. Uh, this model may take a power sword, and uh, they shall know no fear. Has a iron hill for a four plus invulnerable save. And the rights of battle, which we can always remember, you can reroll ones for friendly units within six inches. Okay. So must, must always remember that. 
helps with plasma weapons. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So there we go. Cool. Those are the two models. We'll have one final look at them together. There is the captain. The librarian. Bring the camera down a bit. A little bit of a better look. Yeah. Give you that falling feeling, guys. <laughs> there they are. Pointing so right at the camera. <laughs> yeah. No, they're very cool. They actually. are. Uh, they're very nice looking models. I've got to admit. Um, yeah. The so, mine. The yours? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. I'm still not deciding whether I'm going to add any to the angels or not. Or my salamanders or not. Fair enough. I'm undecided. I like them, but I have a lot of angels. I don't really want to replace them with newer ones. Mm. I'll wait until they get rid of them entirely, the old ones, and just call them all Primaris anyway. <laughs> Probably what they might do, you just look they? at them from a bit further away than the others. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about perspective. They've just got a bit squished in the uh, in the warp. In, in the warp, yeah. yeah. Oh, look, it's called squats. Well, yeah. Squat yeah. marines. Could always say that the, the arm was shrunk in the wash. Cool. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Mm -hmm. The other video we've got today is a white dwarf uh, review. Yes. So we're gonna have a look at the latest white, white dwarf. See what's in that. We've not a look yet. We'll do it all on camera. So it's the first time we've seen it. Uh, please like and subscribe, helps out lots, and you can support us on Patreon if you wish. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, just spread the word about our channel and get as many subscribers as possible, and as many people watching us as we can. And thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you soon. Bye for now. Bye.